this video we talked about sigma workbooks and how to create a page element or a visual in a sigma workbook today we'll talk about creating child elements so child elements are basically the visuals or the page elements which are created using a already created or already defined element or visual in sigma so let's begin i'll open this workbook and to be able to explore and edit this particular workbook you need to click on this edit option on the right upper side now you can see this is the table that we have created earlier to to create the child element on this uh, right upper corner of this visual you can see this add option where which is create child element click on this create child element there are multiple options like you can create a visualization using this table also you can create a sub table and a pivot table i'll create a bar chart visual using this table so i'll create state wise impressions in the bar chart so click on this visualization now in the editor panel you can see that the visualization that is selected is bar chart automatically by default you can change this chart also there are multiple charts available here like a line chart area chart also the pie chart is also available you can create a card also and the funnel chart there are the option of the maps region so you can select any one of these i am selecting a bar chart so and then this second line shows here that the bar charts display what kind of display of the bar chart you want like you want a vertical display a horizontal display and if you have more than one matrices in your y axis so you want it to be stacked or unstacked or you want a 100% stacked bar chart that option is also available here now in the x axis click on this plus option and select your x axis so i am selecting this state here and for the y axis i am selecting impression so by default the aggregation is sum but you can change this aggregation this drop down here shows the set aggregate so you can change this aggregation to be average median min max anything that you want that is present here now you want to sort this uh, bars so from the visual the top right corner there is the sort option so you can sort them by any column so i am sorting them by impressions now there are this marks option so basically you can change the color of these bars but the you can use a single color or you can select the scale of the color by any other column so suppo suppose i am doing it by impression so the the uh, state which has more number of impression has the darkest color also in the tool tip you can add any column and then it will when you hover on these bars that will be shown here suppose i am adding clicks here sum of clicks here in the tool tip so when i hover on any of the bar i can see the sum of clicks also now to edit this bar chart you can click on this left side element format option so here are multiple formatting option like Add, adding a background color to this bar chart or changing the background color of the bar chart second one is the title we can give a title to this chart like i can write this impression by state and also you can choose it at alignment like to be left right or center now from the x axis there are like axis title axis labels scale type and grid line options similarly for the y axis there are same things like the axis title you can enable the axis title like sum of impression and you can change the title to be just impression or anything that you want this font size and color also and here is also the scale type the scale type can be linear ordinal log whatever you want now the second thing is this legend option so from the legend option you can uh, first you can choose you want a legend or not you want to show it or not so you can also hide it or you can show it and you can choose its position its font size then the data labels data labels of these bars so i can 
click on this and I can select the positions of these label to be the start of the bar to be on the end of the bar chart and then the gaps the gaps between the bars also you can click on any of these like to be it small medium or large then the tooltip tooltip uh, I have talked about it earlier like when you hover you can see the sum of clicks so you you want these value to display as percentage or just to be on this uh, to show them on hovering so these are all the options for this bar chart to edit this bar chart so this is how we edit our visual from this element format option and we create a child element using any of this uh, table or any of the page visual next in our next video we'll talk about applying filters to any visualization or any page element thank you